Hi everyone, it's Creative Counselor Chloe here and I am going to be making my world famous crock pot chicken and noodles. Now there's a lot of you know different websites and different recipes online but this is the one that I've created that works best for me and it is super super duper recommended at every family gathering I go to so I always have to make this but Today I'm going to make it just because I haven't had it in a while, so I'll share that with you. So first, I'll go through the ingredients that we need, and you can of course, you know, substitute it with your favorite brands if you want. So I have this. Um, this chicken bag has five individually wrapped chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, um, and this is also <clears throat> um, organic. We try to eat organic as much as we can, but so for this, I trust this chicken. I use this chicken for everything. Uh, so that is our chicken. And then I always use Reem's frozen egg noodles, and you need 24 ounces. So you keep this frozen until it's time. Then you need two Campbell's cream of chicken. <clears throat> You need a 32 ounce of chicken broth, and I use Swanson less sodium in this one. Salt and pepper. And typically you would need a stick butter uh, for this one thing is stick butter, but I ran out, so I'm going to be using <clears throat> country crock, um, just regular spreading butter. It's not gonna work as perfect, but it's not that detrimental. So I'm going to put this back in the freezer. <clears throat> and now I'm going to open all of the chicken pouches and rinse them off. And then I'm going to place them in the crock pot. I haven't been feeling all that well, uh, mostly from allergies. We did a whole bunch of yard work last night. So I thought, you know, I pre-planned and I said, well, if I'm not feeling the best already, I'm going to go ahead and prepare and make my chicken and noodles because that always makes me feel better. And it's very, it's very hearty, it's very stick to the ribs type, but like I've shown you, I have, um, I use the fat free, um, well the low fat cream of chicken and the low sodium chicken broth to kind of make it a little more healthy than it would have been. <laughs> Now I'm going to put these scissors in the sink to wash for later. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Now that I'm all cleaned off, I am going to put the salt and pepper on top of the chicken. I don't use a whole lot of salt. Um, 
when I'm cooking it because I let people salt it as they want um, on top of the whole chicken and noodles. So I just put a little bit of salt on there, but I do go heavy on the pepper um, just because it, you know, it cooks better with all the pepper seasoning in there instead of at the end. So I go kind of heavy on the pepper. Next, we are going to put the cream of chickens on top of that salt and peppered chicken. I'm just going to get a knife for this. Just dump it in there. Same with the other can. Just layer it on top. Doesn't have to be perfect. And before I clean those out with the knife to get the little extra, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some butter to put in there so I don't have to use another knife. I'm just going to take little chunks like this because it would be like kind of like the quarters. And I'm just going to spread it out amongst. There we go. A couple more chunks. Use my finger. <laughs> Alright, so that should be enough butter. That's about a table. Um, tablespoon, oops, about a stick butter worth. And now I'm just going to clean these out, get the rest in there. I usually recycle, but if a can is like this, this cruddy, I go ahead and throw it away. But you could rinse it out if you thought, if you think that'll be better, but then you're wasting water, so it's up to you. I'm not judging. <laughs> all right, so now I'm just making sure that all of that is spread evenly on top. <clears throat> okay. Wiping off my knife in there. Putting it in the sink. And then now we just use this whole 32 ounce of chicken broth. So then you just pour it in there. And I will definitely recycle this. recycling okay so now that it's all in there we've got the five chicken breasts then we have the salt and pepper then we have the cream of chicken and then then we have the broth so I'm gonna put my lid on <clears throat> I've got little latches on these which is great for whenever we're going places with crock pots <laughs> And I actually cook mine on high. Uh, it just shortens the cooking time and it doesn't damage um, doesn't damage this dish if you cook it on high. So I cook it on high for four hours and then I'll be back to go ahead and put in the frozen egg noodles. And that'll be in there for about one to two hours on high. Um, Depending on how soon we want to eat or how later we need to eat, I can put it on low or warm and you can just go from there. So I am going to let this cook. Um, it doesn't need attending to until the four hours is done. However, I like to check it um, at the two hour mark and I sometimes flip the chicken around 
um, just to make sure that everything's cooked good and evenly and I'll go from there so I will be back whenever I do that okay guys I am back it has been four hours so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take out the chicken breasts from the crock pot very hot in there. <laughs> And I'm going to use two big forks. Um, that's just really easy to shred the chicken for me. Drip them off here. And like I said before, um, I cooked this on high for four hours. And on the halfway mark, I just flipped the chicken breasts just to ensure that they got all cooked real good. And you can also, um, if you are going to be gone for a while or if you want to start this early or maybe have more of a uh, preference on slower cooking it instead of doing it on high, um, you could kick, cook it on low for six hours instead of high for four. So right now I'm just going to peel apart my chicken and it's really easy because it's nice and tender. It's been smelling up the house real good and <laughs> trust me, I am hungry. I want this now and it doesn't even have the noodles in there yet. So I got my first chicken breast, all nice and shredded. I like putting it immediately back in there for every one that I've shredded just to get more flavor and juices in there before we put the noodles in. Plus, you know, it keeps it nice and hot and you don't have to worry about anything. And my counters are clean, so I promise <laughs> this is fine. I obnoxiously clean my counters. All right, and I'll go ahead and continue shredding the chicken. Okay, so I have put all of the shredded chicken back into the crock pot, I'm just giving it a little stir. I'm going to show you what it looks like, um, just, you know, all up in the pot together so you can kind of compare it with yours and make sure that you're on the right track. We didn't add anything, we just shredded the chicken. So, this is what it should look like right now. Okay, and now I'm going to add our frozen egg noodles and this is 24 ounces. I have seen several other recipes and they suggest only putting half, like 12 ounces of noodles, but that is definitely not what you want unless you're trying to make a soup. So for homemade chicken and noodle type feel, not chicken and noodle soup, just chicken and noodle. You want to add all of this so it's not soupy. This will absorb it perfectly with the amount of liquid that's in there. So, open this up. Pour it in nice and slow so you don't get splashed. And now I'm just going to want to make it flat so the noodles aren't sticking up. Okay. 
All right, and I will show you that again. Okay, see there's the noodles in there and it's pretty well hidden. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to wait and leave this on high for two hours and I will be stirring it. I will be stirring it pretty much every about uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Um, does it need to be stirred that often? No, but I do just to ensure that all the noodles are getting cooked properly and I also check to see how it's setting. So I will be back when it is finished in two hours. Okay, we're back and the chicken and noodles is done. So I'm gonna show you with a final picture. This is by far the best chicken and noodles you will ever have, I promise you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button 